We are very excited right now to have joining us in studio SOT Counselor Dozy Amuzi and also SOT Postdoctoral Assembly Chair Anka Tooker. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. We're excited to talk to you guys. Now I want to know within SOT, what kinds of groups do you guys have that help foster inclusion and strengthen community? I think SOT has lots of different groups that are geared towards all kinds of members like the undergrad groups, uh, grad students, postdoctoral groups, but then there's also all the special interest groups focusing on different regions all over the world. There's also um, what we call specialty sections because it recognizes that we have different allegiances based on how we are trained. So the specialty sections offer another component of how our group members are organized. Interesting, I love it. Tell me how being inclusive and fostering that kind of environment is so important within SOT and how it strengthens community. Inclusivity is not something that happens to us by chance. It's something that people have to be intentional about. So I think SOT by structurally organizing people according to special interest groups, which is um, cultural experiences and heritage sometimes, or um, regions where the people live, or special, so it, it makes sure that ideas or issues that arise within these groups can surface to the SOT leadership and they can use that to make decisions. So um, it strengthens the society because everybody's idea is coming up to the surface all the time. I want to know personally for you guys, kind of your experiences, how has your involvement in these groups created a positive experience for you within SOT? I think for me, it's I got to know how SOT works, like really the inner workings. If you're a member and you go to the meeting, you, you, you enjoy the meeting that's set up. But the moment you become involved in those leadership roles, whether that's a specialty section or the postdoctoral assembly, you really get to see how much effort is put into getting everything together and how all these special interest group and component groups connect with each other and communicate with council, with leadership to make things happen. For me, it's, it's allowed me to, within the component groups, whether they are specialty section or I belong to a group called Toxicologists of African Origin, there we, we zero in on issues that are more peculiar to the group. And then we take care of things we can take care of ourselves and then reach back to SOT leadership on the things that it can help us with to become productive members of the society. So if SOT members are listening and they want to find out more about how to get involved or find a group that may interest them, how do they go about doing that? Go to the website. <laughs> uh, also check out Talks Change to see whether open roles or leadership roles or people that are in leadership that you can reach out to and, and just volunteer and, and yeah, get involved. <laughs> Right, volunteer would take on that and get involved because we participate, we become members of the community and that's where most of the benefit comes from. I love that there are so many ways to get involved and thank you guys both for sharing those ways with us so people can find out more. Thank you. Thank you.